In this video, we're going to look at the network days .intl function. Now, this is different to the network days function in that you can specify exactly which and how many days are weekend days. So let's just dive straight into the examples. So we've got a simple set of data here to use for this um, illustration of the function. So what we're going to do is start out by writing the formula equals network days, and then we're going to go to the .intl version. And then if we just start off with a basic version, uh, and we're going to exclude um, specifying the precise weekend and holidays, because um, these are optional parts of the function. So we're going to specify the start date, which is the 20th of December, and then we're going to specify the end date. And so that is 12 days in total, um, if you include both of these dates. And when we hit enter, we get 10, because what the function has done it's excluded the weekend um, and by default that will be the 25th and 26th of December which are the Saturday and Sunday but let's say you do a six day week for example and you don't always have um, the Saturday and Sunday off work so this is where the ability to specify what the weekend is is really useful so if we do a comma here you then see we get presented with all these different options um, to specify what we want as the weekend um, so if we were to do one, uh, which is just Saturday and Sunday, this will actually give us the same answer of 10, um, because that's what the default option is anyway. But if we were to specify, uh, let's do just Sunday as the weekend, so that would be 11. So we're going to select that one there, uh, hit enter, and then we get 11 work days rather than 10, because now the weekend has been reduced to just one day rather than two days. Um, now let's say we've also got these two days as holidays um, so like the network days function you can specify uh, when you have holidays so what we're going to do is add those holiday days in so for that we need another comma and then we're just going to select both of these two dates here so 27th and 28th of December select those and then now you can see we've got all parts of the um, formula entered hit enter and we get two days deducted from that 11 figure because we've now added in those two holidays. So down to nine working days in total. So that's just a quick illustration of the network days .intl function, a really useful function that gives you a bit more flexibility than the regular network days function. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.